Greetings! This is Come for MC again. It's been a very, very long time since our last tutorial. You may have heard that I've been working on the Little Big Planet game for the PlayStation Vita, and so I've been in Sweden for a little while. Um, but here I am with our next tutorial, and today I'm going to focus on one of the biggest things I learned while I was working on that game, and that is modular level design. And so when I say modular, I mean building your levels so they are in discrete uh, sections and chunks, and so then you can quickly build your level and kind of make modifications somewhat as if you were building with Lego. So I'm not going to show you what it looks like up front. I'm going to show you kind of how it goes and then I'll take you to a level where it's used quite heavily as an example of how I've used it myself. So what I've done here is I've just made a really, really simple gameplay section. And if I unpause, you'll see that nothing is screwed down. It's a big mess. And so I'm just going to uh, show you how we're going to lock this all down and make all the parts that move and things that need to be not locked down, how that's all going to work. Um, so the first thing I want you to not do is start gluing all these things together. So all these pieces are individual from one another. Don't glue them together because you might want to rearrange and uh, remove things, modify things, and it makes it a bit harder if you have to unglue it each time. So what I'm going to do instead is use a ton of anti-gravity tweakers. So we'll just go ahead and set the dampening on those all the way up to 100. Which, mean, which is a special case of using these anti-gravity tweakers so that now uh, they're essentially white matter or dark matter. They're locked down, they have no gravity, they're completely dampened, and we'll just throw that on everything in the level that I don't want to move. Now you might be a little put off by how many of these tweakers there are going to be. Um, I've learned that at the end of the day it doesn't make that big of a hit on thermometer and it makes almost no hit on performance and so the the benefits of this definitely outweigh the potential drawbacks and of course once the level is done you can always go back and remove them and replace them with actually gluing and white matter and all that but while you're building it's nice to use these anti-gravity tweakers let's see what have I missed the spikes okay so everything is locked down now, except the bubbles, I'm going to not lock those down, and I'm going to remove these, because this platform is actually meant to move up and down with a piston. So if I unpause, hopefully only those two things fall. Oh, I had one extra thing fall. What are you? Ah, it looks like I had a little piece of material left over from when I trimmed the uh, checkpoint here. So we'll just go ahead and delete that. So now, making this platform move up and down. Your first inclination might be to attach a piston from here, up to the nearest piece of geometry in the same layer but I'm gonna say don't do that no no don't do that instead what we're gonna do is make a mount for our piston and we're gonna make that out of sticker panel uh, I had originally done this with hologram but I found that sticker panel does work a fair bit better uh, just because it doesn't have that animation on it and so it uh, doesn't become as annoying in create mode and it actually has better performance uh, frame rate wise so you don't start lagging out in create mode so we're just going to go ahead and attach this this piston to this piece of sticker panel here and our platform that should move up and down and we'll just go ahead and dampen the piece of sticker panel and when I throw this dampening on here the weight of the sticker panel being none uh, doesn't have any effect it's still dampened so we can make this uh, platform move up and down and don't have to worry about any uh, weight issues or strength issues with this connector so I have it right now, the highest that I want it to be, and the lowest is going to be down here, so I'll just tweak my piston really quick. Looks like it's two and a half, and I'll just change my timing to 0.5 with the pause of two, and I'll make it invisible. So what I want this to do is this platform should um, move up and down and pause so I can jump to it and it'll launch me up to the next layer and to the next checkpoint. Okay, so this gameplay section isn't quite that fun, so it's not really what I was going for, but because I built this modularly, I can quickly modify this to make tweaks. So let's say I wanted to make another moving platform to the other side. Well, I'll just cut out a little hole for it, and then I'll copy my moving platform piston over here. And because everything was on grid and because everything was modular, I was able to just copy that quickly over. I don't have to make any other tweaks, and now it'll all work and run, and I can test out how I like this new design here. OK, 
Okay, so the gameplay is a bit more evolved, might be more towards what I wanted. You could always continue to tweak from there. But I have to figure out something to do with these bubbles. I'd like them to hang from a string, but I don't want to attach them to this material. So instead, I'll do the exact same thing I did with my piston down below. I'll make a piece of material, sticker panel in particular, throw my anti-gravity tweaker on there, and then I'll just give it a similar color coding to what I already had, just so I can quick at a glance know what this piece of sticker panel is for, and I'll attach my string directly to that. So let's see, string to bubbles, and there, now my bubbles can hang just like that. My platforms can move up and down, and because they're modular now, if I wanted to add string to the other side, I can just easily copy that over, and when I go to preview, it's going to look exactly like those strings are attached to the material, but they're not, so I can easily move these around. Okay, so let's see, what else can we do with this modular uh, level style building? Um, I can rearrange quickly the... Let's say I wanted the start gate to be somewhere else. Because it's not glued down to anything, it's got its own lockdown with that anti-gravity tweaker, I can just quickly move things around. And because everything is already locked down, I can be in preview when I do this, so that everything looks a bit cleaner, I can get a better idea of what things are going to look like at the end of the day. And let's say I want to move this over to on top of the stack, so it's more like a hidden bubble. And there, I've just quickly changed the introduction to this section. I didn't have to worry about locking anything down, gluing anything, and the premise is exactly the same as as what it would be. So, so this is a really quick example of building modularly. I'm going to take you to a, my most recent level where I've done this throughout, and we can get a better idea of how it looks on a bigger scale. Okay, so my most recent level was the button. Um, not the most complicated of levels, but it does use this modular style throughout. And you'll be able to see that right from when the level loads. You can see bunches of pieces of sticker panel all over the place. So you can see we've got cameras. It's another example. You could put your cameras right on sticker panel, and by changing them color coordinated to red, I always know where my cameras are going to be. I just look for a red piece of sticker panel, and so I don't have to go hunting for my cameras next time I want to change them. And I've got some logic components, I've got them on a microchip that's on its own piece, so they're really easy to find. And you'll see that I've got my big pieces of geometry are all locked down with these anti-gravity tweakers. So all these things can be quickly rearranged, copied. That's one of the best things about building like this, is let's say I've got this set of bubbles here and I wanted to have the same string of bubbles somewhere else, I just copy this and place it down wherever. You can see I've done the, the hanging bubbles here, so if I was working on bubble layout, I can just say, oh, I want to take this exact same uh, chain combination of bubbles and just copy that over, and we're done. I don't have to worry about attaching any more pistons, worrying about my geometry attaching pr uh, properly up here, so on and so forth. And so I can just fly through here and you'll see Almost everything in this level is locked down, modular. Even these little sections like this, they have logic components to them, and I've just put the anti-gravity tweaker right on the component there. Now, other little tricks that you can do with this lockdown, or this uh, modular style, when you kind of abandon the grid a little bit, as I've done here with this, uh, this platform that moves up and down, I didn't want it to rub on the geometry, so there is a small gap that I've cut in here but I've just taken my piece of sticker panel that is my piston mount and I've stretched this over to the edge of the grid so this is what keeps this entire section if I were to copy it and place it somewhere else it keeps that on grid even though the actual material itself has been cut into so all these little tricks you can kind of pick up along the way if you start kind of thinking about building or making yourself Lego pieces, kind of, that you would build your own levels out of. So I've done the same thing with lights here. If I want to make a new light, I just copy the piece of sticker panel. I don't have to worry about finding a new light to copy it down. They stand out quite well. So that's a really uh, quick example in here. I'll just go ahead and fly through this. You can see that I've done this throughout the whole level. And this is, I swear by this build style now. 
Uh, it makes it so much easier to piece everything together. If I wanted to rearrange the level, I just start pulling things out, slotting things back in, and I don't have to worry about ungluing. I don't have to worry about reattaching all my reattaching all the pistons, everything on winches, all that sort of thing. And it's it it's not the best to look at when you're in crate mode. But then I can also switch to preview, and I can rearrange these things, and I don't have to worry about accidentally screwing things up. So it's kind of nice that way. So even these bubbles here. I know that I want the bubbles uh, to be freestanding. I don't have to want to have to worry about gluing them to anything, so I just throw anti-gravity tweakers right on them. So I hope you guys have learned a thing or two about modular level design. If you have any questions, uh, please pose them in the, the link that I've provided in the description. It's a topic for discussing this tutorial on Little Big Planetarium. And it's nice to be back. Hopefully I didn't bore you guys too much, but this is definitely one of the, the biggest things I've learned about level design in the past six months. So take care, guys. Thanks. The tutorials will unleash not only exciting tools and objects, but knowledge and the deepest secrets of the cosmos.